Hi everyone and welcome to the next game in this series on great games from Capablanca. This time we're going to look at his mastery of defense. It's been said of him before that his judgment of positions was so good that most attempts to attack him came to grief without any apparent defensive efforts on his part. And this is largely true. As an adult he lost only 34 serious games in his lifetime. A famous example was when the then leading American GM Frank Marshall sprung a gambit on him with the black pieces that he had been working on for eight years and Kappa managed to defend against it successfully. Marshall was among the uh, had among sorry the best lifetime results against Kappa with four wins out of 54 games. Kappa Blanco won 21 of those and there were 29 draws. The two were rivals but they respected each other and Marshall played a significant role in Kappa Blanco's rise to stardom by making his talent known to chess authorities. Anyway, the game we're going to look at now was played between them in New York in 1909 and is often given the subtitle of a battle royale and you'll see why. Marshall had the white pieces and he opened with d4 after which came d5, c4 and e6 so the queen's gambit declined and in particular after knight c3, knight f6, bishop g5 and bishop e7 the Lasker variation which is solid for black and often leads to the early exchange of some minor pieces. Play then continued with the book line e3, knight e4, bishop takes e7, queen takes c7, bishop d3, knight takes c3, b takes c3, d takes c4, and bishop takes c4, which is the last book move. Normal here is bishop d7, but Kappa played instead b6, preparing to feign shadow on the queen's side and Marshall countered with queen f3 which is threatening the rook on a8 and the best way to defend that threat is with c6 which is what Kappa played then came knight e2, bishop b7 white castled and black castled and a4 from Marshall which wasn't a good move if for no other reason it loses time and has very little impact on the game getting a rook involved in one way or another would have been much better for example rook fd1 and the game is now completely equal so Kappa played uh, c5, which is discovering an attack on the queen from the bishop. And so queen g3, knight c6, knight f4, rook a c8, and bishop a2. And in his notes to this game, Kappa points out that the ultimate result of this move will be the loss of the a pawn, and so it can justly be called a minor blunder. And came rook fd8, rook fe1, and knight a5 which is a strange looking move and Kappa wants to get his bishop to c6 in order to pressurize the pawn on a4 and it's a better idea than many of the alternatives for example if instead c takes d4 then e takes d4 and best play continues queen c7 because of the threats on this uh, e file uh, and on this pawn like saxon e6 looking strong um, but even now, white has the tactical shot rook takes e6, which results in a decent advantage. <coughs> Excuse me, after f takes e6, knight takes e6, and queen takes g3 is forced because anything else loses even more material. But now comes knight takes d8 check, uh, discovered check from the bishop here. So king f8, knight e6 check, king e7, h takes g3, and the rest is more or less a matter of technique for white to win. So knight a5, anyway. Now rook a d1, which is preparing the move d5, which will play in a few moves time. Bishop c6, so we the pressure is now applied to that uh, isolated pawn on a4. Queen g4 and c4, which is better than simply picking off the pawn. Uh, let's have a look at why. If bishop takes a4, now comes a strong knight takes e6. Where best play continues, f takes c6, bishop takes e6, check, king h8, bishop takes c8, bishop takes d1, rook takes d1, c takes d4, c takes d4, and white stands significantly better here. And Capablanca has of course foreseen all of these possibilities, and indeed his ability to see many moves ahead and understand positions so deeply is one of the things that makes him a brilliant chess player in its own right and also a brilliant defensive player. So c4 and now d5 
And here bishop takes a4 is what Kappa played and now it's okay. And in fact it wins a pawn outright as Capablanca pointed out would happen earlier in the game after that bishop a2 move. So now rook d2 and e5 which Kappa admitted later he wasn't happy with afterwards preferring instead um, e takes d5. Even after the initiative white gains with knight takes d5 it's fairly inconsequential, inconsequential after queen e6, queen takes e6, f takes e6, knight e7 check king f8, knight takes c8, rook takes d2 and in fact black is much better here but e5 is what Kappa played <coughs> anyway now came knight h5 with uh, mate threats on g7 so g6 and now d6 a move that in his notes Kappa said was a fine move and one that he admired and perhaps now he was regretting letting this pawn into his defences so Kappa played queen e6 and Marshall answered with uh, queen g5 and presumably he didn't want to trade queens but it was his best option really in this position although with Kappa's end game skill the game is probably lost at this stage anyway. Here he played king h8 which is much better than routinely capturing the pawn. Let's see why. If rook takes d6, rook takes d6, queen takes d6, queen h6 and white is suddenly winning easily. The mate threat is on g7 and it's undefendable. If queen d8 then knight f6 check and queen takes h7 will be mate. So now black is forced to play g takes h5 and now of course comes queen takes d6 and it's game over. So that's why it's no good to capture the pawn there. King h8 is what Kappa played. And now knight f6 and Fritz preferred instead here queen f6 check, queen takes f6, knight takes f6 and again presumably Marshall didn't want to trade queens it's not going to be easy for him to hold on to the d6 pawn here and whereas Kappa's pass pawn on a7 should eventually prove decisive in the game so now Kappa took that uh, pawn because it's safe to do so now now rook takes d6, queen takes d6 bishop b1, knight c6, bishop f5 and rook d8 and here despite Marshall having an apparently strong attack on the king's side black is in fact winning fairly easily and as long as he's careful white has no dangerous attacking chances for example um, instead of playing rook d8 here on his last move if g takes f5 it would spoil everything because now comes queen h6 and black is again forced to give up his queen in order to stop the mate threat on h7 and as a result he'll lose the game so you just got to be careful but of course Kappa has calculated very precisely and he knows exactly what he's doing and uh, Marshall just, just played h4 he seems intent on aggression but it's ill advised really and the calmness of Kappa's moves show the belief he has in his own judgment here he plays knight e7 just getting another piece back to defend as Marshall brings the h pawn down to try and break open the defense of the black king and Marshall counter with knight e4 threatening the queen so queen c7 queen f6 check king g8 the only move bishop e6 which is recommended by Fritz as well and the best way to continue the attack but it's hopeless and it solves a little after f takes c6 queen takes c6 check and king f8 Marshall continued with uh, knight g5 at least threatening mate with uh, queen f8 but once again Kappa is very calm and finds a simple move knight g8 which is easily the best defense and now white again has nothing f4 is what Marshall played and now came rook e8 which is a, a defense that works just fine like taking on f4 was also okay he takes f4 best play continues rook f1 rook d1, rook takes d1, bishop takes d1, e takes f4 and a winning advantage to black presumably Kappa didn't want to open the board up quite yet as there's still some pressure on his king so rook e8 and now f takes e5 and there's a small chance that Kappa had missed this tactical idea taking the queen now would lead to an advantage to white so rook takes e6, knight takes e6, check king e7, knight takes c7, a clear exchange up so that's no good so rook e7 is what Kappa did play now came rook f1 check, king g7, h5 
And looking at the position now, it seems there must be at least some attacking chances for White, but rea realistically, there are none, and Black already has one game, almost four pawns ahead of material. So Bishop b8, h6 check, King h8, and suddenly, once again, White has absolutely zero attacking chances. Marshall tried Queen d6, and came Queen c5, Queen d4, Rook takes e5, Queen d7, an in interesting move, but also a desperate one. Marshall was famous for his swindles, and this is an, an attempt at one, but there's no chance for them against Kappa, and essentially this move loses the game. Uh, if bishop takes d7, knight f7 is mate, but Kappa's not going to fall for that. Rook e7 is what he did play, and rook f7 is a final try for Marshall, but after bishop takes f7, he resigned, because still he has nothing, he's going to go an, into an endgame, a minor piece down. So a great defensive game from Kappa. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave any comments or thoughts. Thanks very much.